Are your wedding detail shots looking so-so? In today's video, I'm gonna share with you our top tips for shooting wedding details that rock. Let's go. Before I get into the video, if you are new to this channel and are interested in all things wedding tip related or photography related to improve your shots on the wedding day, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new content when it comes out. Wedding detail shots are sometimes one of the last things that photographers think about on the wedding day, but they are so integral to telling the full story for a bride from start to finish. We're gonna share our top styling secrets in this video, and by the end of it, you will be able to implement them on a wedding day yourself, but make sure you stick around till the very end for our bonus tip. Our first secret tool is a styling mat. So often a bride will pick a beautiful venue, but their getting ready space where we're shooting the details is awful. And that's not their fault. They just didn't have a good getting ready space. But as a photographer, my job is to create beautiful detail images that correspond with the feel and the look of the rest of the day. So what do you do when you have a junky location? You get a styling mat and you can either make them, which I don't recommend because they're cumbersome and it is kind of tedious to make them yourself, or you can purchase one. These things are foldable, they're washable, you can pick multiple colors so they're two-sided. That's a win-win because I already carry enough gear on the wedding day, I don't need to be carrying big, bulky items. So this thing folds really small. So I'm gonna be mentioning several places to purchase these items throughout the rest of the video. You can visit the show notes below for the links to all of them. The next styling secret tool that we have in our arsenal is the Mrs. Box. And they are an heirloom velvet ring box that we carry on the wedding day. We personally have three, just in case a bride doesn't have her own. I never rely on a bride to have a beautiful ring box because oftentimes it's one of the last things she thinks of, but it's one of the first things that we need as photographers to elevate the look of her details on the wedding day. In addition to that, it's less time I have to spend trying to balance and stack rings that are tiny and very delicate. I love these because they come in different colors you can use them in multiple ways because they have a beautiful gold foil on the interior and they come in two shapes. They're standard square and then they just recently released their bevel box, which you can custom engrave either for your own brand or if you're wanting to gift something to your bride and kind of add to that experience, you can get it engraved for her as well. Now, if you currently have a Mrs. Box in your styling arsenal, then type yes in the show notes below. Our secret tool number three is French silk ribbon. This ribbon is not your standard Hobby Lobby or Michaels ribbon. This is typically antique. It's a more expensive piece of fabric and it can either be hand dyed or you can buy it as is, but this is just one more thing that adds that color, that texture, and that added layer of interest to your details. It allows you to elevate them from being ho-hum to being wow. And a lot of photographers will reach out to a floral designer and ask them to include additional ribbon so it matches the bouquet, but oftentimes they forget. And again, I don't want to be left just having only half of what I need. And so we include in our styling kit, something like this. Our fourth secret tool are small styling details. What does that even mean? For us, they're small antique pieces like a piece of lace or a small hand mirror. If your bride doesn't have anything that is special to her, then you may want to carry one or two of these small items on the wedding day. They're great, like this ring box, for putting rings on top of or putting a boutonniere inside of it. And 
it just elevates everything that you're doing one more level because you have taken the time to think ahead and bring these little items in for her. If you would like us to do a video on how we actually style details on the wedding day, then hit that like button. If we get 100 likes, we'll shoot it for you. Now for our bonus styling tool tip. We actually use dental wax. That's right, you remember it fondly from being in middle school. It's that wax you would stick on your braces. But in this case, we're using it to hold up the rings. You've seen those beautifully stacked wedding rings before, leaving you wondering how in the world that photographer has defied gravity and gotten those suckers to sit still and stand up. The secret is dental wax. And so you can find it at any CVS pharmacy. It's super cheap and it's really easy to keep in your bag of tricks to make your details stand out. So we've shared our top tips on what we keep in our styling toolkit. But if you're wondering now how to light those beautiful details on the wedding day, then make sure that you head to this video right here so that you can improve your off-camera flash skills on the wedding day while you're shooting those details. And make sure that you hit that subscribe button and share this video with a friend, help them out, help them improve their photography skills as well. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.